MCU characters straight from ancient mythology. Everyone knows Thor was a real Norse god, but Marvel's mythological roots go much deeper than Asgard. It's hard to find an ancient form of belief that hasn't been represented in the pages of Marvel comics, and in most cases, in the shape of a costumed superhuman. Some have left a more legendary impression than others. Bas Bastet is the child of Ra and an Egyptian goddess worshipped for her warrior mentality. Hailing from the Bubastis region on the Nile River Bast, spread to other regions of Africa in the MCU. Bast is the primary figure of worship in the comic book Wakanda. Bast responsible for the power behind the Black Panther, once mortal being who gained enlightenment and moved to a higher plane of existence. Eventually, Bast would make a permanent home in Wakanda, where generations of Black Panthers would commune with her via ingestion of the heart-shaped herb and gain wondrous powers. She's played a particularly prominent role in the life of T'Challa, the once and future king. Helhala, the Norse goddess of death hell, as she is known there, is the daughter of Loki and the ruler of a realm bearing her name, where she gathers the souls of the dead, save for those worthy enough of inclusion in Valhalla. In the comics, the goddess of death is frequently harassing Thor and the people of Midgard as a power-hungry villain bent on expanding her posthumous empire. Thana Athena Athena, daughter of Zeus is one of the more important goddesses in the Greek pantheon and has many responsibilities to match. Wisdom, war, peace, and crafts. Said to be perhaps the strongest of all the gods, even Ares feared Athena in the comics. The real deal is the actual Greek goddess herself, daughter of Zeus and half-sister of Hercules, most commonly involved in the affairs of her sibling as an ally and occasional antagonist. In the comics, Thana is perhaps best known for her extremely long-term forbidden affair with Crow, the leader of the Deviants. Icarus, Icarus Icarus, was the son of the famed inventor Daedalus, who built the labyrinth on Crete only to be locked in a tower for his troubles. Daedalus whipped up a pair of waxen wings for him and Icarus to escape the tower, warning his son not to fly too close to the sun. Then Icarus flew too close to the sun, the wings melted, and he fell to his demise. In the comics, he's a million-year-old member of the Eternals, created by the Celestials to watch over the experiment that is life on Earth. Icarus is strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos Circe. Circe. In Greek mythology, as told by the Odyssey, Circe is the sorceress daughter of Helios, the god of the sun, and an ocean nymph. Circe set up camp on the all-vowel island of Amaya, where she encountered Odysseus in the comics. She's also secretly behind a great deal more Greek mythology than that, including the stuffing of Pandora's box. Sprite. In English folklore, the term sprite can refer to a few different types of fairies, but primarily those mischievous beings more commonly known as hobgoblins, Pucks or Robin Goodfellows. In the comics, Sprite is an Eternal who has been stuck in the body of a child for a million years and has an attitude to match. Sprite erased all the memories of their fellow Eternals in a misguided bid to grow up.